Well, the makeup today is a fairy cat, but um, okay, I want to talk about something quite interesting, I suppose. It's not interesting in a good way, but interesting as in like something I've noticed happening a lot and I have first-hand experience in, but like a lot of people have experiences with this. And that's being neurodivergent and then considered to be a fucking genius when you're younger to crash and burn when you're an adult. For some reason, almost every single neurodivergent person who I've met who was seen as a smart kid when they were younger, some time in their future crashes because we get put up such high expectations for when we're like smart or whatever that our disability, even if diagnosed, gets overlooked because, well, you're smart, you're performing. That must mean that diagnosis is just, you know, solved or whatever. It's worse when people are undiagnosed for years. But even, even with us that are diagnosed, like... I was diagnosed when I was eight, but I still crashed and burned. And the reason is, is because if you're, if you see ADHD as just having issues concentrating, for example, um, yeah, you're just going to think that the smart kid is still smart and that the medication just fixed it. If you have no idea how much of an impact executive dysfunction can have on someone, for example, you're just going to think a medication fixed ADHD. So now you can function like a neurotypical. Meaning, us smart kids um, get put a lot of pressure. And then um, when we can't perform that, we crash and burn because we still are neurodivergent. And then everyone thinks we've failed. We also put that pressure on ourselves because the whole fucking world expected us to perform. Um, also, because a lot of it, with a lot of us, like myself, I, <laughs> I truly thought that the only th good thing about me was that I'm smart as a kid, right? I wasn't good at social things. I wasn't particularly good at sports. The only thing I was even remotely good at <laughs> was learning. I, I was awkward, <laughs> you know? Kids didn't like me. But I like learning. So that's where my whole self-esteem was based on. And when that all went downhill, that had such a big impact on me. And yeah, we don't have it as bad as neurodivergent kids who also aren't good at learning. They have it much worse. And I'm very aware of the privilege that I have growing up being smart, you know, and being able to perform. But I think that it is... A misunderstanding to think that if you are, if you grow up quote unquote gifted, that that means that I am no longer neurodivergent. Because the special ed kids will always have it worse because they're treated much worse than we are because they didn't have that one thing to base their self esteem on. They grew up with shit self esteem because they treated like were treated like shit. They were treated like they were dumb. They were treated like they were like they were not uh, social and uh, like rude or whatever neurodivergent people get told. Right? They have it worse than we do, and I'm very much aware of that. But that doesn't mean that the gifted kid problem isn't still very much a thing. Like so many of us that we base our whole fucking self-esteem on being smart and then we like l grow up to be stupidly perfectionistic and then, you know, we crash down and burn uh, somewhere through high school or um, studying as uh, is the case with me. A lot of us just, what do we do now? You know, we never learned to do anything else. I, I wish I could, like, I don't know, learn to work with my hands. Because, but, but I can't. Because I lack all formal training in that. The way that if I was allowed to do whatever the fuck I want as a kid and it wasn't seen that brain work was more superior over other things, I might have been able to go in that direction. And... 
now there will be an incredible amount of shame if I did decide to stop studying. I, you know, it's just how it is. I'm getting very picky thinking about having to stop my studies because it's not just the social shame, it's the thousands of dollars I put, not dollars, so euros, I've put into that shit. The thousands of euros that are wasted if I stop doing this. Even though if I don't, it will most definitely completely crush my mental health. And I still keep going because it's expected of me because I am a smart kid. I'm supposed to be able to do this. There's something so weird about the traumas of growing up like the genius and I wish parents would stop telling their kid whether explicitly or implicitly that being smart is their strongest character trait you are so much more than being smart you are so much more than that you are kind you're sweet you are creative, you are just a whole person and your intellect, your ability to perform academically is not your whole identity and it really, really fucking shouldn't be. So if you're like struggling real bad right now in any way, that's the system failing you, not you being a failure. Please do remember, I could learn a lot in this department because I keep telling myself I am a failure, even though the worst thing that will happen is me losing a bunch of money, which is real bad, but it has nothing to do with me as a character. I am a good person and I have tried. And the system has failed me. Uh. And I hope you know that that's also the case for you. And the case for so many of us. You are amazing the way you are. And you deserve better. That's my little rant of the day, I guess. <laughs>